We do not see conflict. There is no way to strangle China. Acting in his name, Joe Biden's team had given as good as it got in Anchorage. So how did he rate its first major diplomatic outing? What's your reaction to China last night? I'm very proud of the Secretary of State. He shuffled off, only to be reminded, pride cometh before a fall. Not one, not two, but three of them. A quick dust off of the presidential patella and he soon recovered. On board Air Force One, they vouched for his resilience. And he is, he's doing just great. While out in Alaska... How did the well, talks go? The Chinese were fleet of foot and tight of lip, leaving the Americans to survey what had come of more than five hours eyeballing each other across the room. We were clear-eyed coming in. We're clear-eyed coming out. There are a number of areas where we are fundamentally uh, at odds when we raise those issues. Clearly and directly, uh, we got a defensive response. Chinese Communist Party conduct in Hong Kong and economic coercion appear to have been battered away, as were human rights in Xinjiang and the constant coveting of Taiwan. We'll go back to Washington uh, to take stock of where we are. We'll continue to consult with allies and partners on the way forward. I think all Australians uh, should be uh, reassured by the fact that the Americans have come out and said that they've got our back and they won't leave us alone on the playing field. There was a performance element to the strident hectoring opening session, but Beijing's assessment that US-China relations have plunged to their lowest point in decades was probably honest and not in dispute. At least Anchorage has left both sides in no doubt about where they stand, and it'll now fall to their presidents to decide whether to attempt to thaw or keep this modern day Cold War raging. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Washington.